Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Brandon, and uh, today we're going to do our final part, which is part three of converting our conference room into a studio room or a broadcast room, whatever you want to call it. Um, but very excited to show you all this. Uh, this is a project I've been working on for the last month, and uh, it is uh, it's not exactly what I wanted all the way, uh, but we put uh, you know different parts together, different equipment, and uh, made it into a pretty cool room. And so excited to share it with you. And uh, we'll do that in just a second. But if you don't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then also, um, if you want to purchase any items that are mentioned in this video, please use the description in there. There's some links and uh, just use those links for me. And I would greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so here we go. This is our broadcast room or studio room. I'm gonna probably call it a broadcast room uh, now that we're kind of completed with it. Uh, but I just wanted to show it to you real quick and kind of go through everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the light on in just a second. But during the service, this is what we're kind of looking at. We'll keep the overhead lights off just so that way it's not such a um, harsh light inside here. Uh, we have a little lamp on uh, in the corner and then everything else is glowing pretty good. And then above uh, the bookshelves that we showed you in part one and two, um, I got some LED tape lights up there. So uh, anyways, it's pretty bright in here. I don't know how my camera's focusing on everything. It may show it darker than it actually is. Uh, but without the overhead lights, it looks pretty good without it. But I'm going to go ahead and flip those on for you uh, just so you can kind of see a little bit better and uh, just go through everything. As I mentioned, uh, we covered up the bookshelf. It did have a green screen uh, curtain across it, and we just put a, a black one. And uh, we're going to use that for some different things. Matter of fact, this morning I used it uh, to record our devotion uh, for our church. And, uh, and so, anyways, it works well. I need a little bit of... Uh, backlighting to go with it but uh you know in due time on that so uh let's go ahead and show you the tvs real quick and uh just to kind of give you a feel for everything and i apologize this is probably going to be a little bit shady on everything you kind of see a glare from the overhead lights but you know that's not a problem during the service because we had those overhead lights off um but the top tv um uh, is a tv that is showing just a overall picture of our sanctuary. And uh, on this one, I have the um, one of the Ubiquiti cameras and uh, we had it bought it before COVID started. And as I mentioned in part two, and basically what we did was, uh, it was just kind of a sample thing. We were gonna replace all of our security cameras. Well, when COVID happened, we had to kind of slow down on everything. And so uh, it was just sitting on a bookshelf. I remembered it and uh, basically it's an IP camera. So um, I hooked it into our network and uh, got the IP address set up and then went into VLC player. And so there's a microcomputer hooked up to that TV and uh, up top. And so that shows um, just a, a feed from our sanctuary and it kind of gives us an overall thing of what's going on so we're not just looking at our two main cameras we can see an overall picture uh, that's not being broadcast to our live stream or anything like that that's just for us um, just so we can kind of get a feel for everything that's going on in the service over here on the left side uh, is our tv that shows um, our atm our multi-view and um, you know it's it's pretty much kind of what i've shown in other videos uh, we have two regular cameras uh, that are Canon XA11s. Uh, then we're running Purple Center right on that uh, third little box. And then on the, the far right one, the green screen one, uh, we're running that from in here. That's just our lower thirds, and we cut out the green part and uh, overlay that with our camera. So um, anyways, uh, and then the right one is just the program viewed from the ATM. And so that's essentially whatever's going in uh, through our live stream. Uh, that is what is shown on, in here. Uh, for sound, uh, you can see one of them in the top right hand corner of this screen. We have some JBL studio speakers and uh, I'll have the, the links for those again in the description. Uh, but I heard things at another church uh, about two months ago and uh, they just sounded phenomenal. They, uh, they, they're pretty, pretty clear in everything uh, as far as the highs and the lows. And uh, this is a small room. And so I believe I got the five inch ones. And so they work really well. And uh, so anyways, moving right along, uh, down below the TVs is our microcomputer for that top TV. 
Um, I could have mounted it on the back, but I just wanted it where I could reach it e easier. And, uh, and so, you know, that's just what I decided to do for now. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is just whatever we had that I could, you know, move around and use, that's what I did. And so, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to drop this camera. Please be patient with me for just a second and, uh, trying to get as low as I can and uh, adjust it. But here at our first computer, um, that first one is for our, uh, person that is running our ATM and uh and our one that talks to our camera operators and so i've mentioned this in multi multiple videos before uh we don't have a ton of extra income and so for now we're using the walkie talkie app which is free uh on our phones and uh, essentially we just got some playstation headsets from walmart and uh, she talks to them through there and it works really well for us the only negative about the walkie talkie app is it has advertisement every once in a while and uh, so that's kind of a bummer because sometimes we don't notice it right away and you know, but it's very small problem for what we do and you know, it saves us quite a little bit of money. So this was a Mac that was in the back of our uh, sound booth and it was actually running our per presenter for um, our live stream for our lower third, the green screen. And uh, it was running really, really slow because it's had updates and we're still using per presenter six. So uh, we just had a lot of glitches. And so I was like, you know what? We'll just use that for the ATM and we're good to go. So these desk I all purchased on, uh, on Amazon. I wanted them to match. And so uh, that's one of the reasons why the video took a while to get is because I was buying a desk a week basically. So, uh, but anyways, uh, that's our first one. And then I'm going to move over here to our next uh, desk, which is mine. And uh, here, let me get my stand straight. Here, um, essentially what I have is uh, the left screen is got a microcomputer hooked up to it from on the back side, and that's just running our X32 edit software. And basically what I'm doing from here is I'm running the live stream sound only. And so uh, we have everything um, as far as, um, as, as far as the sound separated. Um, and so it works pretty well for us. I can adjust things in here doesn't mess with the house sound and uh, and it gives me a little bit more freedom to where I can hear in here through the broad, through the studio speakers and uh, it works pretty well for that. So uh, put I put me kind of in the middle just because I wanted to be in the center of the two speakers and uh, and that's why you know I did it. it otherwise if I didn't, wasn't doing sound right there then I'd probably put the ATM switcher there so she could see all the TVs but uh, sound. I just wanted it kind of even. So that's why I did that. As far as um, the right screen. Uh, so our uh, in our uh, in one of our offices, we have our security cameras. And uh, and so basically what I did was I got a, a HDMI splitter, uh, which I believe I mentioned in one of my other videos <coughs> in part two or part one. And uh, we just got an HDMI splitter and ran a feed into this room. And uh, and so that way during services, somebody's able to in, in this case, it's me usually, but um, we're able to see all the, the security footage during service. So if something happens, um, you know, obviously we wouldn't want anything to happen, but if something happens and there's like a security issue, um, I'm able to see it. We're in a room uh, that has locked doors on all, all sides and uh, we could technically contact whoever uh, or get in touch with whoever's on security and all that kind of stuff pretty easy. And we're able to, to kind of see everything and uh and go from there so on the right is uh a little mixer that i had it's a little yamaha um i think it's four channels uh, but essentially what i did was i ran from the soundboard and i ran into our studio speakers um straight in but the problem is i didn't have much volume control because um as far as the volume it was it was really really hot and the only way i could turn it down was if I got a ladder and went up to the studio speakers and turned each one of them down manually, because if I turned it down on the X32 edit, since it's our live stream feed and it's a direct feed, um, it would turn down the live stream feed. So I didn't want to do that uh, because even though it would sound better here, it'd be too low on Facebook, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So essentially what I did was I ran the XLR feed uh, from our sound booth into this mixer first and uh, and then it goes back out to the studio speaker so i have a little bit more control over it um and that works pretty well for us um not perfect and the quality may have degraded just a little bit um but 
our this room is right next to our pastor's office as well and so during practice on sunday mornings i don't want it turned up so loud that he can't talk to people when people come in so that was another reason behind it um, let's go down here to the very last uh computer desk and um right here like i said is our lower thirds now the thing about this uh particular computer is it's one of the oldest ones that we use um as a matter of fact it was in storage for a while and i pulled it out and here's the thing so this computer actually works better than the first computer i showed you for pro presenter uh because this computer is older uh and there hasn't been any updates with it and stuff for whatever reason pro presenter 6 just works better on it when we go to pro presenter 7 uh, we're probably going to not have, not be able to use this computer or not want to use this computer. Um, and we may do some adjusting on all that. But um, yes, it's an older computer, but it actually works better than the newer computer we had. So um, that's pretty much it on there. Uh, just a few more things I want to show you. If I can get through this tight spot, please bear with me. Now, that's probably not the best uh, quality as far as me moving around if you can see down there real quick uh underneath the microcomputer just some storage space but that's where we put the ipads and uh and so we have that going there and then uh over here on this uh this little cabinet uh gonna have battery chargers and stuff here we have two different battery chargers um this one right here um i don't know if i if i like it or not i've only had it for a week accidentally dropped it off one of the desks because it only comes with like a 12 inch cord usb and uh when it dropped it broke the usb port yes it was my fault but i figured it would last longer than one week so anyways don't know how i feel about that i contacted the company and we're just waiting to hear back from them um so uh there is our basket that's got some shirts in it got our media team shirts and some serve team shirts in it for our community outreach and then the startup kit that's for uh, people that get saved for the first time or, or rededicate their life. It's just basically some information. I do have a video on that um, on our channel. And basically, if someone gets saved or rededicate their life uh, to Jesus on Sunday morning, we give them that. It's got a devotional book, a Bible, a highlighter, a pen, uh, some information about our church, next step type stuff. And, uh, and so we give that to them. And so we keep them over here by our, our door leading to the sanctuary. Just to kind of give you for a reference uh, to show you everything, let me get adjusted here. So right outside the sanctuary, and uh, there's our second camera right there. There was a light I was just using earlier that's usually not there. Ran the cables up through the ceiling. You can't even probably see that right now, but. Uh, basically what it did was when we moved in that room instead of having up to five people in the sound booth we only have three back here and two of them uh is sound well, one of them sound and one of them is uh, our main pro presenter which it could be in the conference room but it's just easier for us to keep it out here for wednesdays and stuff like that and then the third one is just the camera operator and uh and so what it's done with us using the conference room we've been able to adjust a few things and so we only have one computer back here, but if we are running slow, I'm kind of tight on room right now, but if we're running low on people, not slow, but uh, running low on people, we're still able to run everything from over here and not even use the conference room if we don't have to. Uh, yes, we want to, but if we don't have enough people, you don't have enough people. So there's the multi-view and the switcher's right there. So we're able to control everything from there. And then X32 and our pro right, like I said. So. Uh, there's that and then up above on our tv i have mounted our tv that's the top tv uh, video feed that you saw in the conference room that we first showed you um, and so that's just a ubiquity camera and uh, we just have it running on the network all right so that completes our video this is part three of converting our conference room into a studio room slash broadcast room. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, also, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I would greatly appreciate that. And please, if you choose to purchase any of these items that were mentioned in this video, uh, please use the, the links in the description. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you now in the next video.